everyone, Renee here. Today's video was so much fun for me to make and I have you guys to thank. Some of you requested that I do a DIY BBCC cushion compact. I can't believe it took me so long to do this. I'm wearing it right now. It was so easy and I can't wait to show you how you can make your own. So there are a couple of reasons why this is just the best thing ever. The most important being that you get to use all your already existing favorite products. The stuff that you already know works so well for your skin. So even though cushion foundations are beginning to be more mainstream, a lot of you still may have problems finding a shade that matches your skin tone. Also for some of you, the cushion foundations that are available to you may be too dewy or not dewy enough or not long wearing. So this is the perfect way for you to cocktail this perfect hybrid product for you using the skincare products that you know work for you. I mean, you've got so much control here, you gotta love that. Some of us have been mixing our foundations for a long time now, whether it's mixing different consistencies to create the perfect one, or different levels of coverage, or different shades to create the best skin tone for you, or adjust as the seasons change. You get to put your formula in this convenient, portable compact that you can take around with you throughout the day and just touch up. So before we get started, I think it's important to mention that what we're doing today is combining a few well-formulated products together. We are not creating a formula. So there are certain things to consider in effectively combining products. So one of the things is, as much as I enjoy putting a few drops of oil into my foundation before I apply it on my face, you can't put oil into this cushion compact formula because it will cause everything to completely separate out in the sponge. If it was in a bottle and it became biphase, you could sort of shake everything together before applying it and that's fine, but you can't do that with your cushion compact. So oil will not work with all the water-based ingredients that are going in there. So the other thing you are definitely gonna notice is I do not add sunscreen into my formula. It's one thing if you have a product that's already formulated with sunscreen and it's at SPF whatever and PA++ whatever, but when you're actually mixing sunscreen with other substances and ingredients and products, then not only are you diluting the effectiveness of the UV filters, but you're also breaking it down, which can also render a lot of the uh, UV filters a lot less effective. You'll get far more sun protection if you apply it separately. All it will do is just take up a lot of space and dilute all the other products in here. If you have a cushion compact that you are finished with, you can recycle the case and refill it. Extract the removable compact portion, then remove the cushion sponge so you can wash it. I use regular soap to clean, and then wipe everything with alcohol to disinfect. Or if you don't have one, you can buy a DIY cushion case from Mimi Box for $7. I will put all the details in the description box. First product you'll need is foundation. This is the base. You could put in your favorite or a mixture of a bunch or a good drugstore one. Remember, since you are mixing this with other products, the coverage will be somewhat diluted. Try to eyeball the amount you'll need, which is about one third of the compact sponge container. I also go for a two to one foundation to skincare ratio. Next, add an essence serum or ampoule of your choice. If you have irritated, oily, or acne-prone skin, you could use a tea tree essence, or you can use a good pore product that will keep the skin tight and control sebum. The Sorasu First Care Serum is skin balancing, and mixing a few drops of this to foundation is a great makeup secret. It creates a beautiful finish. I do it all the time, so I'm adding a few pumps of this. This ampoule is 80% propolis, which is not just healing and nourishing to the skin, but I love the glossiness it gives the complexion. So this is going in. I also like to add some subtle radiance for some glow. I love Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector or Max Strobe Cream or any other radiant primer would work too. Finally, I add a few pumps of a very light lotion. Depending on your skin type, you can add a gel or even an oil control primer. Adjust the moisturizer for your skin type. Or if you want more coverage, you can just leave this step out. By the way, I tried adding Hada Labo's Hyaluronic Acid Lotion and that made the foundation curdle, so leave that one out. Mix it all together. Make sure to test the formula out and make the necessary adjustments you need to. If the coverage, texture, and finish are all looking good, then you're ready to start pouring it into the case. 
make sure to only fill up to one third of it. Use the sponge to soak up the remaining product in the bowl before placing it in the compact. Gently press down on the sponge to soak up the product. If there's any additional remaining product, you can pour it over the sponge and let it absorb through. Clean up the edges. Click it back into the case and we're ready. So mine is a glowy, radiant, and light CC cushion that's got some moisturization and natural coverage. This sets and dries to a healthy, bright, and glowy finish that just looks like great skin. Well, that's it. I hope this inspires you to create your own custom compact foundations. I would love to know and hear about what you would put in your custom blend. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you great skin health and I'll see you next time. Bye.